Hey guys, welcome back. So today we will solve uh, telephone number validation. Okay, uh, what we need to do is we need to write a function telephone check which returns true if the past string looks like a valid US phone number. Okay, so these are some examples that we need to accept. And we need to validate or reject US phone numbers. I think we should be using uh, a regular expression for this one. This one might get a little bit <laughs> tricky because there are a lot of cases we need to consider. So um, I'd like to use this tool reg regex101 which is online, it's a website where you can go and test regular expressions. So I'm going to test there and then I'm going to copy that regular expression in here and uh, inside our JavaScript function. So I am going to switch to that website uh, right now. Okay, so here are the numbers we want to grab and this is one we don't want to grab. Okay, so right here I have configured for JavaScript and I have uh, set the flags for global and multi-line. Now let's start um, uh, creating our regular expression. So first thing, um, we want numbers, uh, this was the prefix which is optional, uh, it is in the uh, requirements. So what we want in this case is I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to create a group for this one and this one should be optional. So inside parentheses I'm going to put one and backslash space. Now the space is optional, we can, we can start with a space or not and this group as well is optional so I'm going to use the question mark. Okay, so this one should start and then we should have uh, three digits. Okay, let's have a group with three digits. I'm going to put it inside. And to specify these for digits, for numbers, and I'm going to put a three here. Okay, so, but now we should also cover the cases when uh, this first group of three digits might be in parentheses. So we want cases with parentheses and cases without parentheses. So inside this group I'm going to use an OR. So I'm going to cover now the case with parentheses. And I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to use the escape character and the parentheses. So this one counts only as the parentheses. Uh, the character here is only to escape. Okay? And I want uh, three digits. Okay, and I want to close the parentheses and close the, um, yep, as you can see now we cover the cases with brackets as well. Okay, so these are the first three digits which might be with bracket or without brackets. Now, after this one we might have uh, a dash or we might have a space or we might have nothing. So I'm going to create a group here. So we might have a dash or a space which is backslash s and now this one is optional so I'm going to put a question mark which means we, there might be zero or more. Okay? So, so far we have covered the first three did the um, country code, um, the first three digits and then the dash, the space, or nothing. Now we want to go to uh, the other group with three digits. So I'm just going to put here... Well, actually we don't need to use a group in this case because here we use the group for the OR. I'm just going to put three digits. Okay. And now, after this one, we want again a dash or maybe a space or nothing. So I'm going to copy this part here. Okay? It's the same. Now, in the end, we, we want four more digits. So I'm going to put slash D and four more digits. Great. I think 
we grabbed everything here so I think this is everything we need okay let's test this in the um, in our code so I'm going to switch to free code cap okay now right here I'm going to create a regular regular expression expression and it's going to be let me make it more readable inside this one okay now what we want to do is a regular expression dot test and we're going to test the string and this will return true or false let's console log this one okay okay so it works for this one it returns true let's run the tests there might be something still wrong okay so it's not covering this case ah, okay so we should Def make it explicit here that we need to start with a number so I'm going to use uh, the carrot here and in the end I want to put the ending with a dollar sign so this means that I uh, this is the pattern I want uh, explicitly so I don't want anything before this and any uh, nothing else after this okay so now it should work for all the cases okay guys so that's it for um, this challenge I suggest that you go uh, look at the regular expression chapters because this one got a little bit more uh, complex and confusing so just make sure to brush up on your uh, regular expression skills okay uh, thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe like share the video um, i'll see you in the next one bye bye